What is up guys, Ab27HD here, bringing you a movie review of Olympus Has Fallen, not to be mistaken for Channing Tatum's White House Down. Don't get me started on that, I will be bringing you a review of that in the coming weeks. So this film stars Gerard Butler, it stars Aaron Eckhart, it also stars um, Morgan Freeman. Oh Morgan Freeman, you are so good in everything you do. And it is the tale of the White House being taken over by terrorists, the president being held hostage and Banning, played by Gerard Butler, is basically the Secret Service guy. He was taken off the president's detail for Secret Service, but finds himself the lone wolf in the White House trying to protect the president and obviously trying to thwart the terrorists. Uh, this is a balls-to-the-wall action film. Think 90s action movies and you are right in the correct ballpark. This reminded me of Connor. It reminded me of The Rock. It reminded me of Die Hard. A lot of people are saying Die Hard in the White House. Um, I can understand that to a point and you could pretty much have taken uh, Gerard Butler out of the equation, slotted John McClane in there and it would have worked. It would have been a much better Die Hard 5 than the uh, Die Hard 5 that we were actually given. But I think it stands very well as a film on its own right. Uh, the pacing is directed by the same guy that did Training Day. He also did The Shooter with Mark Wahlberg, which is one of my favourite films, the sniping movie. And and you know you were in good hands with this guy. He knows how to direct action. He knows how to pace a film. He knows how to set up scenes. So first and foremost, you know you're in good hands. If anyone who's seen Training Day, one of my favourite films of all time, you will know that you are in good hands with this guy. He has worked with big actors and, you know, it is a decent, solid director. In terms of the performances, Gerard Butler, the ever-watchable Gerard Butler, loved him in 300 and he puts in a really good performance. It's not the one line is there that's why I said when I said go back to the likes of Connor The Rock um, all those big balls to the wall action movies with uh, brilliant one liners excessive violence and just good fun the special effects aren't the best you've ever seen but who gives a shit when you're having this much fun um, the violence has a good weight to it. It's not done for effect. You're not getting, you know, they don't tie people up and leave them to one side, but at the same time, it's not gruesome to the point that will put people off. It just reminds me of, you know, your diehards, your Connors, just funny quips, funny one-liners. Aaron Eckhart is superb as the president. Morgan Freeman is the vice president who has to obviously take over the role of the country as the film moves through. And it's just good fun throughout there's ac 130s heli um gunships taking out mo major parts of the city there's explosions going off there's knife fights there's gun fights there's fist fights um you know it's just a lot of fun guys i surprised myself i really i, I went into it thinking it was going to be decent but i didn't think it was going to be this good um so if you were a fan of those traditional action movies those big heavy hitters from the 90s this will take you right back it is a real nostalgia trip and Die Hard in the White House, I think it stands on its own right. I don't think it has to be labelled as a Die Hard in the White House. I think this movie stands on its own merit. And as I said, brilliant performances from Gerard Butler, from Morgan Freeman, from Aaron Eckhart. And the baddie is Rick Yun, who uh, was the bad guy in Fast and the Furious. Uh, I don't know if you remember him uh, from Fast and the Furious pumping oil into the dude's mouth. And he is a really cool, solid actor. So well directed, beautiful paced action, bloody but not excessive, swearing, one liners, just good fun. Gerard Butler's line of let's play a game of fuck off, you can go first, just made me laugh. It just made me giggle. I quoted it on Twitter because it I was just watching it and thought, yeah, I get this totally. It is over the top. It is unfeasible that this would happen in real life but it is a hell of a roller coaster leave your uh, leave your hokey pokey kind of preconceptions at the door go in expecting it to be a balls to the wall action and you will not be disappointed guys brilliant spectacular film and well worth checking out i would give it a nine i would even give it a 9.5 i think it is right up uh, with the best action films and not that much shaky cam thank god for no shaky cam so yeah check it out guys that is olympus has fallen out now on blu-ray